Hello again. I'm um, back with a new book to share. This is a design team project for a whimsical adventure and this is her bee kit that she um, recently put out and it's just lovely. It's not a theme I thought I would enjoy so much but I really did. Um, so this is what I, um, I ended up with. I am um, I ended up feeling that the front cover of this was too white when I initially finished it, so I was a bit terrified to do it, but I sprayed it with tea once it was all finished, as it is, and it actually worked really well. I'm really chuffed with the the effect I got. It almost looks like honey. Um, so what I've done is I've done another uh, double um, book cover. So the first one is sewn, but it is attached. So there is it is glued, but it's also got eyelets that go all the way through both covers. Um, so the first one is all stitched together, old linens. And um, there's a pocket on the inside with a tag and some pages from an old book I've got. And then this is the old book cover that I've just layered and things. And again, a pocket on the inside. I used this um, doily because it almost looked like the bee effect, the, the honeycomb throughout it, which I thought was really nice. So I'll put a pocket on the front and a little book to start with. I think this is a great way of using up scraps. And a wee envelope from the kit in the back, which has got little bits from the kit I didn't use in it. Love that sound. And there's a wee tag here in the front and a little pocket. So all of this, other than a couple of wee bits I ripped out of old books, is all the kit. So I didn't use anything else. Um, and I just added lots of fabric bits. So there's quite a lot of bits like this through the book. They're not tucks or pockets or anything. They're just there to look pretty. These are both vintage papers from very old jotters that I found in a charity shop. So um, I've got a rusted pin here with um, an old button, which I thought was really pretty because it's actually got little flowers embossed on it and just a wee decorated envelope here. There's little bees decoupage throughout the book as well because I found a napkin um, that was covered in bees. So I've just sort of decoupaged them throughout the book. And so again, this is from the kit. And a tag in there. Again, more bees. These are bits of the kit. I like ripping stuff up and just sticking it in. So this is what I've done here. I've got a wee tip again from the kit. There's three signatures in this one all together. So I've just pinned lots of um, bits of the kit throughout and there's stamping and um, stenciling on everything as well. I love the way that it's got a bit of pink in the kit, which I wouldn't have thought to mix with it, but it works really well. Again, sort of little just bits to decorate pages. They're not actually pockets. I've got another one of these Tim Holtz pockets here. Um, I just love these. And again, just decorated here. This is where you'll see that the ribbon goes all the way through for that comes out on the outside. Again, lots of space to journal in this one. And again, an old button. I don't know if you'll see it in the video, but I have used a sort of gilding wax throughout on edges and stuff. So it's, it has given a really nice effect, but I'm not sure it'll come up on the video. Again, from the kit, that was really pretty. So there's lots of little bits throughout this book. 
and another envelope here with a journaling card from the kit inside and again another vintage button. I love playing with these colours. Um, again, not colours I thought uh, really to use with the orange and things, but it just came out lovely. Okay, another journaling card. And another card here. sort of decoration on a page here and again this pink here which has got this in the middle this time which is really nice a place to journal another wee card bits of the kit here. I like these, they're like little journaling cards, but they're like honeycomb, which I thought was really cute. I've um, got some more lace here. And at the back I've got another little book. Oops. It's another wee journaling card that fits in there, and another wee book. And again, another little envelope at the back with some bits I didn't use from the kit. back page here with another pocket so I made a big journaling card for here and this is another page out of an old um, dictionary and encyclopedia again I've sprayed it with a tea on the inside of here as well and then you'll see the sort of honeycomb effect I thought that looked really good so it's not actually stuck down it's all sewn round, it's stuck at the bottom, but then it's sewn round here to hold it all in. And then obviously there's glue through the spine, so it's going to stay in place. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs>